couple for the future. And how quickly might the future arrive? Elena Ilinik, Nikita Katsalapov. Skating to an Andijan polka. on his feet. At the end of the day, it's the speed that kept him going. Elena Ilinik and Nikita Katsalabov for Russia. Some difficult moments for those two, particularly for Nikita and the Twizzle. I have to say, it didn't to me look as difficult as some of the routines that we've seen, particularly in the latter stages. No, I'm with you, and uh, uh, in some places it, it looked really difficult because it was a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. But no, you're right. I don't think it was technically as demanding, which is a shame because these two have the quality. I really uh, am a fan, particularly of the free dance. I think that's their strongest part of the competition. If you haven't seen it, it's to the, uh, the music of Ghost and uh, some fantastic choreography in that. But. Uh, yeah, I think that was a below par performance from these two. A couple of times you could see the, the unison between them not quite as good as it would normally be. And there he is through those twizzles. How he stayed on his feet. Really regained composure for that second set. Just watch this again. 
can see it going off. The weight's all over the place, starts oscillating, bends his knee, gets back on that forward inside. He did mighty fine job to save himself. And like the consummate professional that he is, didn't let it affect the rest of the program. Beautifully back into the circular step sequence there. Fabulous lift here at the end. Difficult position there. The transition going into that really tricky. Great speed on the rotation. And uh, smooth as silk on the dismount too. But there were a couple of places in there where it was just a little off sync. And you sense they know it. To get third place, they need 70, really. And I don't think they're going to get it. No, 66 